Hey guys, uh, working in the shop tonight, and um, we were working on the engine for the first gen. But that is not what the video is completely about. The video, this video, is talking about piston rings. So these piston rings are from Total Seal. Um, talked to the guys over at Total Seal a couple times about some rings, and I wanted to try a set of um, gapless piston rings in this engine. Um, not that it's not that it's a new thing per se, but I just wanted to talk a little bit about them. Um, and so you guys understand, for you guys that don't know, if you do know, uh, I guess you don't really need to watch the video unless you want to, um, unless you want to look at my pretty face. Anyways, let's uh, talk about the rings. So on these rings for a, a, a 6.7 Cummins or a Cummins in general, for the most part, um, if you look at the piston, you can see the top ring is a keystone ring, which is a an insert when they cast the piston. So it's a steel insert. And the specialty about that is it doesn't beat itself out. Now, if you look at the ring, see how the ring's not straight? It's tapered on both sides. And that's the reason um, they have, that, that's what they call a keystone. I shouldn't say the reason. That's, the re that's a, what they call a keystone ring. And the reason for it is so that the piston lasts. So on this set of pistons, when you're talking the gapless, it is the second ring that's gapless because this one being tapered, they can't do their gapless trick to. Um, and then the oil ring is just a standard oil ring other than these are total seal rings. Um, total seal will do your rings gapless, make them into gapless rings. Um, if you send the rings to them, you'd have to talk to them about the charge because I'm not, I know what the charge is for me, um, but I'm a shop, so I'm not sure what it is for the retail customer. Um, now, I'm gonna show you what the gapless ring is. So, technically, there is still a gap, but there isn't at the same time. So, this is the ring that they supply, extra ring they supply. It's a thin ring, it's very similar to the oil, well, to an oil ring, they, these oil rings don't have it. But it's very similar to an oil ring you would find on a gasoline engine, but it is not the same. Do not mix it up. That is what this is for. So don't mix it up. If you do, if you're running, if you're doing this on gas engine, because these rings can be done gas, diesel, all kinds of different stuff. So just make sure if you do have an oil ring that is like this, don't mix them up because they are different. So if you look at this ring here, you can see there's a groove in here. And basically, so this ring does have a gap, and obviously this ring has a gap, right? There is a gap in both of them. But basically what you do with this extra ring is this ring actually fits inside that groove when you put it on the piston. And when it's inside the bore, obviously this gap is way smaller. On these ones, about 45 thou. Now, it can't pass, nothing can pass through there because you've basically blocked it off, right? So the other gap's over here. So that's what they classify as a gapless ring. So technically it still has a gap. You still have to check the gap and all that stuff. But it helps keep out the blow-by keeps compression in the engine where you want it to be, keeps the oil cleaner, all that type of stuff. So, and I wanted to try them on this um, just to see. I have used gapless rings before, um, just not just not on diesels. Usually when we buy our pistons, they come with rings and we usually use mall brand pistons. Not that I've ever had any problems with the mall rings, I have not. They are not gapless though. You can send them to have them reworked if that's what you would like to do. The issue I've been having and the reason that I reached out to Total Seal was one, I like a lot of the content that they put out. They have a really, really good YouTube channel, very informational. If you guys want to check that out, I'm going to actually cover pretty much all of the videos they have done in my own style way for you guys. But if you want to check, go over there, you can check out what they have done. But the issue that I've been having is, is that supply. These Total Seal rings are made in the United States. They make them in Phoenix, Arizona. The mall rings are not. Not that I have a problem with the quality of them. I can't get them half the time. That's a problem. So I can get pistons. I'm actually looking at a different brand of piston as well to, to start working with. Um, I know quite a few big companies that are using them with no problems. And I have used them before with no problems. Just didn't have a good supplier for them. Now I've got a good supplier for them. I believe I'm going to start using them as well. I do like the mall pistons, so I will continue to use them as well. Um, but I think I'm going to switch over to using Total Seal gapless rings on all of our builds. 
the only thing, the only downside is they are a little bit more expensive. So for this set of rings, you're about, now this is Canadian dollars, not US dollars, about $150 more for a set of rings. I believe that the quality of these rings are better. Are they? I do not know 100%, but from their quality control and the way they lap stuff and go through all the ring sets, I believe these rings are a better quality ring. So for the extra money, when you're building an engine, talking thousands of dollars to put a better ring in it, only makes sense to me, especially if you're doing a performance engine or something like that. Um, but if you have any questions about this, call Total Seal. You can call Total Seal directly. They're very, very helpful if you want to use these in your build. And the phone number is right there on that sheet at the bottom. You can talk to those guys. There is a host of guys there, guys and gals, I would imagine. Uh, everybody I've talked to is a guy, but I'm sure there is gals there as well to talk to about piston rings for your setup. Um, you know, best to talk to them directly. Obviously I do come and stuff. Um, uh, so if you have some questions or something, you can let me know down in the comments. And uh, I think before this video gets too long, we'll call her good. And uh, yeah, remember it's not rocket science, but if you're gonna be dumb, you better be tough.